Hello and welcome back. Welcome to Caves of Cud. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Um, we're, we're doing some, some fun stuff today. I'm going somewhere special. Uh, we're gonna go into the clam. Boof. Give it a second. Passed by a giant clam. I don't know. I feel like this is, uh, this is not actually anything. Oh, we got trending lampreys. Can't stand trending. Okay, this isn't actually what we wanted. Let me just double check that I have what I need here. We do. Okay, so I guess it doesn't work on that specific clam, which is kind of hilarious. So we're going to go into this specific clam. Unless maybe I have to hold it. Nope. No, you just have to have it on your person, I think. Unless this is a like a bizarre place that I found myself in. No. Okay. So I think that I have to hold it. Wow, we have... We have a becoming nook. This is a very random place I've found myself in. Oh my god. Uh, motorized treads are not really worth picking up. Full right hand bones are barely worth picking up. Uh, honestly, no. They're, they're not really. Um, hmm. Ow. Ouchies. Plasma hurt. Plasma hurt. Um, take an herb berry, I guess. Nice thing about the arc winder is, uh, it, we, we can hurt, use it while we're waiting for our spacer pistol to come off cooldown. Okay, so none of this is really what we want. We're going to go back to over here. Clam, get out of here, clam. Actually, you know, it, it occurs to me that quantum jitters might actually be a really good thing for us. Does it open up a space time? Yeah. This is actually gonna help us a lot towards another achievement, which is hilarious. All right, so what I think I wanna do is I'm gonna hold I'm gonna wield the um, this neutron flux. I this might be what we have to do. Hmm, doesn't seem to be the case. You hear sloop in the world around you shifts. You pass by a giant clam. Um, I don't know what I'm. Oh, hmm. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. Let me, let me have a quick look here. Uh, ba -ba 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 uses. What? Hmm. Hmm. One vial is a possible reward from a ba the Baylaw quest. I did not know that actually. Will not cause an explosion onto yourself. Using the collect liquid command on a container of neutron flux. Pour okay, well this, none of this is actually what I want to know. Um, let me look up clam. Oh, okay, here we go. Sells items. Trying to trying to find out how to get there. Uh, hmm, okay, here we go. It is home. The game, the game provides no particular clues for locating this this place. 
Oh, I have to be lost. That's actually really difficult for me to do. Because <laughs> I don't get lost anymore. Um, that's unfortunate. Okay, well, uh, let's get to the surface. And I'm going to roam around, um, I guess the Palladium Reef. Do we have, no, that's Lake Hanan. We have to be in specifically the Palladium Reef. This is actually going to be really difficult. I didn't realize. Because there's a very low chance of me actually getting lost. Oh, you notice some ruins nearby. Oh, more, more croco lads. I died. Oh, <laughs> I uh, I hit them with neutron flux. Oops. <laughs> I uh, I actually punched. <laughs> I punched a sea critter with neutron flux. That's really funny. No, I don't want to check out the ruins. I want to be lost. I don't know how I'm going to be lost. How, how does one get lost if uh, you have wayward finding? Should have not taken wayward. Oh, oh, this could be it. You're lost. Now, the problem is, not only do we have to be lost, we also have to find a clam. And the clams are not necessarily super common. Um... Yeah, and we regain our bearings very quickly. What is that over there? I should say, what was that? Gonna temporal fugue real quick. Ouch. Might die again? Things are not going well right now. <laughs> I'm I'm kind of stuck right now. Um, discharge. Okay, I I finally see where I am. I didn't even know where I was. That's a, one of the problems with um, temporal fugue, is like I I can't see where I am half the time. Okay, well, um, what are, what are we gonna do? Like, I, I I just like straight up don't know what we're doing. Cause I, here's here's the thing. So if you didn't know what I was trying to do, if you hold, if you have on your person neutron flux, and you're lost, apparently there's like multiple criteria here. Discover a secluded domicile. Sure, I, I don't know what that means. Um, so if you're lost, you have neutron flux, and you jump into a clam, then you will be rewarded by entering a, a kind of a pocket dimension, which is really fun. Um, like, cool, right? Um, and there's a, you know, our first highly entropic being. The first one that's been added to Cudden is like a very, it seems like they're, they're one of the most referenced creatures in the game, but we've never actually seen one. They don't seem to exist in the game yet, really. But we have a highly entropic being, they exist. Um, and you can buy stuff from them. They'll, you know, they're, since they're a highly entropic being, that you can make friends with them with another dram of Neutron Flux. Uh, which is great, sure. But like, you know, you have to be lost and you have to have neutron flux just to enter their realm. And that that just seems really uh, undoable for us, especially since I don't know how to get unlost or sorry, I don't know I don't know how to get lost when I have wayward wayward wayfaring. So I shouldn't have taken wayfaring for the lake or palladium reef. 
if I wanted to uh, do this. I wonder if I have a comp yeah, I have a compass bracelet on me. I could remove that just to increase our chances of getting lost. You're lost, hey, that, that actually does help a lot. I don't know what this lad is. Star Kraken. Tough. Actually says tough. So that's a Star Kraken, meaning they work the same as regular Krakens. There is an achievement to get swallowed whole. Um, let's grab a time dilation grenade and hit them with it. Oh, is that a hermit? Oh, they only have a eigen rifle. Dang. What what happened to them? Okay, there they are. I think they demolished something over there. I don't know. I'm, I'm get, I guess I'm getting distracted because I kind of want to see what happens, what, what we can obtain from the Star Kraken. I guess we can Temporal Fugue. Get this done a lot quicker. You regain your, your bearings. That's 100% uh, not what we wanted. What happened? I guess I got uh, Space Time Vortexed. Where are we? Oh my god, I'm like halfway across the world. Okay, well, that's, you know, not where we want to be. Eat freehold it is, and we'll go back into a clam. Yeah, so, um, since we have a chance of creating space-time vortexes whenever we, uh, cast an ability, that'll actually help us towards our, uh, other achievement of jumping into space-time vortexes. So we're kind of working towards two achievements right now, um, clam jumping and <laughs> space-time vortexes. And should we happen to get lost and uh, lucky as well at the same time, then we could conceivably uh, find ourselves in, in a, a pretty good place. But it'd be kind of nice if um, jumping in these clams made you instantly lost. Oh, there was a Gam Gam over there. I just saw it. Gam Gam's probably one of the few things that still scares me. Discover a lair. Sure, we'll investigate a lair. Why not? Legendary Prism Perch. We have Mad Poles. I don't know what still scares me in this game, uh, but certainly mad poles are one of them, and we're ignoring them. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, I don't like this at all. I, I don't want to hang out in a uh, lair with mad poles. I've already done the whole getting dismembered by like a hundred things. I swear to God, there are no hostiles nearby. Okay. Oh, there's a mad pole. All right. Uh, we can check out this historic site real quick. Yeah, apparently we've never been here. And, uh, so far this isn't bad. Like, I say it isn't bad, but all I really mean is there are no crocs. <laughs> I can't tell you how, how tired of crocs I was. We have a Pewtis Templar. Oh no. Hey, did I do I still have that recipe to get rid of itchy skin? Cuz that's very relevant right now. <laughs> that's that's very very relevant. 
So apparently this was also a fungal forest. I don't know how I didn't see that. I was like, there were legendary white ash. Okay. We got a, another layer here. Cool. Um, let's see recipes. Star apple jam. Oh, there we go. We fortunately I did not die when I made that recipe because that was a good recipe and I don't want to have to get it again. So drink. We still have itchy skin. Uh, drink. Drink. Itchy skin still. Drink. <laughs> you pour water. The nice thing about this is because we're not literally drinking, uh, we don't, we can't like throw up or anything like that. But I wonder if that means it doesn't count as drinking water. Do you think that that's what it, what it means? I'm pretty sure I already got this recipe once and used it and it worked so i'm not sure i think it does count as drinking but we're getting very unlucky right now and it's not removing itchy skin what what like do i not have the effect it's 25 percent chance one of your negative status effects is removed at random um so what's what's the deal here how come i'm not how, how come it's not removing it Drink. We why why in the world do we still have itchy skin? There's a one in four chance. We've done it like ten times right now. Drink. No. Does it not count if I've been pouring it on myself? It doesn't seem to be working. Hmm. Okay, here's a different idea. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour some of it nearby, 10 drams. Is it brackish? No, it's dilute, okay. I was kind of hoping it would stay as fresh water and then we could drink it on the ground. It's it, This is like straight up not working, so maybe it doesn't count. I swear to God, oh, there we go. Wow, we just got really unlucky. That's all that was happening there is we got really, really unlucky like 10 times. Okay. Um, I don't think I want to continue with this historic site right now. We'll, we'll come back later. But um, I, I don't think I want to do it right now. Uh, I still kind of want to try and do this neutron flux business. Notice some ruins nearby. Sure, we'll, we'll check it out. Thank you, police. Police car? No, some ruins. Nook at Guile. Oddities. Okay. What is this? Anything? It doesn't seem to be anything cool here, honestly. Oh. Oh, what it, oh is this the, the place that we awakened in? This is certainly an interesting uh, thing to stumble upon. Vessel of the first sip. Fun. Uh, that might be where we end up, like, when, when and if we uh, respawn. Discover another layer. <sighs> yeah, I don't know if this is going to happen. Getting, getting lost and like having the stars align is uh, really tricky. I don't think there's a way to get lost, if that makes sense. Instead, we're just kind of discovering a lot of stuff. <laughs> I mean, that's cool too. Uh, I, I'm, I'm all about that. But, um, you know, it's not really what we want.
So I guess we'll just like pick up some books. And um, I don't know. What, what, what are we doing next? You know, since I'm not finishing... Oop. That was a uh, rocket tinker. Since I'm not finishing the cud as is the, like the, you know, what ending we have right now. Um, what I could do is, you know, go and respawn so we get a second floating point. And that way, at least we're like at the, you know, extent, the, the best extent that we could be at. You know, having another floating point is, is really nice. And then we can actually equip one of our quantum moats. That actually sounds like a not bad idea. I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place. So let's go back to the Tomb of the Eaters. We'll also get a ton of XP, I'm pretty sure. Um, do you know, uh, how do I get to Bright, Bright Shoal? I bear the mark. Entomb me. You are forgiven, entomb me. Do it then. Peace Biographer. There is a, if you didn't see it, there is a, a, a stream I did that was like forever stay with me forever. Um, where I, <laughs> I got to this point and I, uh, you know, I, I finished the quest and I waited and I, I handed, like asked the guy to entomb me and he, he didn't, he was frozen. And it was a really dark run. I happened to like, kill a lot of like normal n normally friendly npcs and it was it was just kind of a dark run and so i i decided well since he's not working he's not doing what i asked him i'll, I'll kill him so i attacked uh, this guy herodotus herodotus and uh and it was only after like i i killed him that for some reason it it kind of unfroze the game. It, it fixed the game. And I was able to actually jump into the sarcophagus, which was just hilarious. One of the one of the funniest moments in, in CUD. So. Since a psychic presence foreign to this place in time, excuse me, that's not allowed. That's complete nonsense. What do you mean? <laughs> you're in the you're in the matrix and also you sense a vast animus. I uh I hope you don't mind me spoiling this. I know that's there. There's a few people. I, I say a few people. Quite a few people out there that have not seen this, and it's really cool. You're carrying too much to move. Oh no. What is happening? Why am I overburdened right now? Our strength seems to be much lower. I still have these. Uh, all right, we're gonna have to get rid of some stuff. I can get rid of this slip ring. We'll look at it real quick. Disassemble that. Oh, we have some books. Uh, I'll get rid of this combustion cell. Grenades, we have tons of grenades. Let's get rid of these high explosive grenades. We're good now. Why do you call me sad? Am I dead? The body dying, but the mind Roman. I've come from the thick world with a mission to disable the spindle's magnetic field. Can you do this for me? <laughs> Something changed atop the spindle. If Bright Shoal is indeed connected to the city there, then this change may suggest it's in peril. One year ago, someone began a broadcasting a signal from a top sp spindle. I have a recording of it here. I ask you to disable the magnetic field so that the spindle can be ascended and the signal investigated. 
If it can be done, return me to cut. I wish to ascend the spindle myself. I am ready. There we go. Not a lot of experience points in the grand scheme of things. Yeah. So this is uh this is the the zone that I had discovered. Tying inside you is another of the secret knots that bind the world. You gain an additional floating slot. Tab, take all. You're famished. <laughs> Sucks we gotta re-equip everything, but worth it in the grand scheme of things. So apparently I just got an achievement, Mutagenic Mastery. I guess I just never got it at any point. So, uh, that's interesting. Cause loop. Slip ring. Flawless crystal mace. Radiant shank. Masterwork scoped spacer pistol. Jack's paint, painted phase harmonic. How much uh, charge have we used on that? It's still full, so that's good. Flawless crystal gauntlets. A bliss of glass. Flaw, a scaled flawless crystal boots. Nothing in the throne. Weapons. And then Kaleidicus Mutabur burn. Where is our uh, moat? I've had a moat this whole time. What happened to it? Yo, what happened to our moat? Oh, take take all. Why why is there still stuff in here? Okay. So do we have our moat now? There, there we go. So that gives us an extra AV. Why are we only at AV 20? Is it because it is this thing like averaged down? Uh, I don't know, but it, we get a bit more resistances. Oh, well. <laughs> Can't win them all. I was kind of hoping to be at tw 21 AV. Um, all right, so we're, we're done with that. We can go back to Gritgate and finish in the next quest. That'll give us a bit more XP. Free XP is, you know, worth it. And then we'll go to the stilts. I haven't been to the stilts in a long time. Um, and uh, we'll hand in our books. Um, I've returned from the high gate of Bright Shoal. Complete the quest. Rep. Oh, and he gives me a met metamorphic polygel. Nice. 7,500 XP. That's not nothing. And then, then what? Uh, does it? Is that it? Tell me about the signal again. Uh, I think that's it. So that's that is a, as it is the end of Cud until the Moonstare update comes out. Which you know, cool. I, I, I really enjoy the uh, the current ending. It's it's almost like ominous. I know a little bit about what is going to be asked of me next, uh, or asked of us, I suppose I should say, and it is really cool. There, it's not necessarily what you expect. I won't say anything more than that. Of course, like nothing in Cud ever is, right? What what do you, what would you expect from Cud? What would you expect in Cud to happen? It's always something weird, right? Uh, let's eat some food, and I'm not sure what we're doing next. I'm really not. I guess, uh, you know what we could do is, what we'll do, let's go back to Grit Gate. I'm gonna pull out all of my trade fodder. We're gonna move it. We're gonna move it to the um, legendary Icker Merchant zone. It sucks that um, 
It, it really does suck that I, I, I couldn't complete that one quest. Like, uh, not even quest, the, the, the one thing I wanted to do with the, the clams. I was really looking forward to that. Like, I can't, I can't honestly tell you. It was, that's honestly a, a big disappointment for me. Um, like, I'm not questioning it. I'm not saying it shouldn't be like it is. I'm not saying it, it, you know, make it different so that I can do it. I'm just, like, disappointed that it turned out that I couldn't do it. You know, sometimes, sometimes it sucks. Repair? Okay, sure. Um, all right. So now we're going to go to the legendary Icker Merchant. Real quick, and then we're going to go to the Six Day Stilt. Um, as for what we're going to do next, I guess we'll just do more clam hopping, because that is an achievement. Maybe we can't get the clam hop, like the, the getting lost in the Palladium Reef or the him on lake business. Maybe we can't do that, but we can at least, um, you know, hop some clams. Absolutely no reason why we can't do that. Okay, do you have anything cool? Yes, you do. Brain brine and sun slag. Um, I kind of want to keep the mercurial cloak and I do kind of want to keep the gyrocopter backpack. If I somehow, you know, I don't know, go insane and decide I want to try and do the Deca Slime thing, the uh, the gyrocopter will be invaluable for that. You don't have? Okay, well, I guess we'll do both of these. No, we won't do both of those? Okay. Um, nine full boots, that works. All right, so that's one Icker Merchant done. We can look at this info. Still hoping that we get that last bit of info. Whatever info we need. Next Icker Merchant. What do you got? Um, you've got Cloning Draw It. Sun Slag. Sun Slag. Okay. Uh, let's hand in this Flume Flyer of the Sky Bear. Flawless Crystal Shard Mail. Kaleido... Uh, Sarah Muffs. Telescopic Monocle, why not? Engraved Slip Ring, sure. <laughs> Here's the advertisement for your own shop. Works for me. And I think we're good to go here. You don't have, okay, all right. Uh, we could start handing in tacos, but we're, we have so much trade stuff, like, doesn't have the skill to identify, oh, I didn't mean to, I pressed I instead of O. All right, so that's another one down, let's do this one. You have a bunch of painted stuff. This is another nice thing about legendary, uh, merchants is they have a lot of painted stuff. So probably getting your your uh, your info is is a good way of doing this. So uh, 233 seven drams. Yep. And now we have one more Icker merchant to trade with. Cloning draw, cloning draw, more neutron flux. We could start cooking with neutron flux, but that is of course much more risky. Um, in uh as a mutant but there is an achievement to accidentally die <laughs> from that so you know I, I, I we could we could do that we could do a little bit of saves coming on that one uh we'll do these oh these these have ant anti-matter cells we don't want to trade those and here's that stupid gun of the pistachio electrician you know, as I look at it, I act, it is actually a high voltage arc winder. What does this thing do for us? Gants, oh my god, grants you electrical generation. Or increases it to level 8. So this thing is actually amazing. It's a dang, it's a dang shame we can't uh, add the jacked mod onto it. 
isn't that a darn shame? <laughs> that just kind of sucks. I'm going to sell Stops Fallon. Uh, actually, I'm not going to sell Stops Fallon. What can we sell? What else can we sell here? Phylactery. I don't know what the phylactery is for, and I don't care. I don't think. I don't think I care. Okay, so that's a lot of stuff we just got. Um, we're definitely going to drink some more brain brine. This has been a very brain brine heavy run. That's 11 of 20. We just need to drink nine more. We got some Resha floor, I think. Sowed the fields of trolls with salt. That sounds like some gossip we could possibly hand in to the trolls. Got a lot of knowledge of goat folk villages, which, yeah, oh, you know, ho-hum. <clears throat> Let's uh, drink some more brain brine. Teleport. Teleport is actually really good. It's a, it's a really good, um, <laughs> a really good ability for us. So we're going to go to the six day stilt now. I'm thinking what I might do is use our cloning draughts on um, the our bookbinder. We do have a bookbinder at the stilt. We got a really lucky stilt. Um, we do also have some reshef floor. I might try. I might uh, talk to the trolls, see if I have any reputation, uh, any any info for them. I think I might. So we actually have two. Go ahead and uh, hand all of that in. 9,000. Nice. That's not nothing for sure. Um, let's hand in all of our books. It's been a while since I've done this. 10,000. I mean, eh, it's again not nothing. We're actually very close to level 40. Kind of a milestone. Uh, all right, so we need to, we, we have a book binder somewhere here, not on this screen. I kind of need to mark them on the map. There it is. There's our book binder. They're on the same screen as, actually as nothing else. So it is a hundred percent worth noting this down. Book binder. And I'm going to go ahead and hit them with some cloning draught. Why am I doing this? Because it will mean that we have more bookbinders and we have another resource to basically hand in our money. Um, books are pretty expensive, but they're also a very uh, ultimately cheap method of gaining experience. They are raw experience and it's it's just worth doing. You know, it's it, they're, they're worth the, the cost. So if we have more book binders, this was a this was a tip actually given to me by a a cud member. This is not my original idea. Okay, last one. So we'll have four book binders in the same location. There we go, and we do actually want to buy their books. So let's do that. Yeah, I mean, like it's a little bit of money in the grand scheme of things, but like you know. You know how much money I've been rolling with. I don't even, like, I'm not even close to tapping it. I might, uh, well, I have to pull out some antimatter cells from all that stuff. We will st sell a stop silent. Yes, it is a very good piece of equipment, but I don't really need it. It's, it's not, uh, it hasn't really, it's not relevant anymore, I would say. It's relevancy has already played out. And also, I have so many abilities that I'm basically not going to use. So we'll have a quick look at our skim salesman. I will hand in our uh, newly bought books. Maybe we'll level up. Uh, and then I wanna go talk to the trolls because I have a funny feeling we just got some troll gossip, which could be useful. There's only a couple of things we're interested in from Skim Salesman, basically. Oh, I mean, I've 
you know, Mark III grenade. That's kind of nice. Um, but uh, we, we want of Serene Visage still because that is a Betel quest that we have to hand in. And that might actually be it. I don't know if there's really any other mods that interest us. Could be wrong. Lacquered of terrifying visage. Well, that's we could. I, I don't. I I think we already have that. Phase harmonic is kind of nice. Okay, data discs. What do? What can we re learn here? Yeah, we can't learn that. You already know that one. I, I've learned phase hum harmonic and thermal grenade marks. Too bad we didn't have that when we fought the um, cherubs. That would have been kind of nice. Okay, let's go to Bethesda Susa. No, I don't want to check out some ruins right now. Uh, I should at some point make a precinct navigator would be kind of nice. I don't know if it would really make much of a difference. This guy is still uh, lovesick. Yes, we do have some gossip that interests them. Fantastic. So that's it. We're now on like just good terms with uh, trolls. I think that we might have, it said we have a sh secret to share them for 50. So it might be that we can, we still have something to give them. And then we would have enough to actually buy a secret. Yes. Stops Valen. I, I forgot that that would be any, of any use for them. So now we can finally get some secrets from them. Uh, who knits the icy lattice shares the location of the ruin of House Isner. House Isner, oh my god. There we go. Um, th like our first, our first secret from them is actually fantastic. That's a pistol, by the way, in case you were curious. So uh, that's going to be really worth doing, but I think we'll have to do that on the next episode. L let's just set that up. Artifacts... The Ruin of House Isner. That's an achievement and a pistol, and I'm excited. That's going to be great. Um, if you are enjoying the series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time, and we'll dive into House Isner. Take it easy.